this week. 732 new stalls were installed in the United States and Canada, bringing the total stall count to 56,670. Most of these stalls are from Ford Charge, which did a very large data dump, 148 stations. Uh, we'll see the that here in just a second. Blink added six stations, Pilot Flying J added two stations, Tesla added two stations, ChargePoint added 23, EVgo added one, EV Connect added nine. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First is Blink, and as is common, the open data is all over the place, but the idea is sequential, so take this with a grain of salt. There are a couple here that are new, it looks like, Vancouver Hyundai in Vancouver, Washington, open just recently. Also, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, one stall, and another Hyundai. Pilot Flyden J added two stations. This Pendleton, Kentucky was a sleeper site. I knew absolutely nothing about it. It was at an exit that had two stations open, so it was never added to plug share because I couldn't identify which of the two stations might be coming. But it is open now, and now we know which one. Weatherford, Texas, outside of Dallas, Fort Worth, is now open. Tesla added two. The one of note is the Rove EV charging hub with 28 stalls, which opened with much fanfare. And people might not be aware that most of the stalls at the Rove uh, charging hub are Tesla superchargers. They are not Magic Dock. And one of my viewers chimed in saying that Tesla is starting to disable Magic Docks because people have adapters. I'm not quite sure if that's accurate or not, but I did hear that. Uh, it could just be a rumor. I'm not sure. Here's charge point. A couple of note is this one in the deep south of Alabama, uh, two stalls in Iowa. We've got uh, one stall. This is uh, pretty remote Iowa. And uh, GPM Investments in Fort Collins, Colorado opened a station with two stalls. This GPM Investments has recently been purchased by another C store operator. I forgot the name of the company that purchased them, but I was kind of afraid their EV charging would cease after they've been purchased, but apparently not, at least for uh, the stations that were in the progress of uh, opening. EVgo added one in California, four stalls in Wittiter. Wittiter. Tur, it's a hard name to pronounce. EV Connect, and uh, the one of note right here is in Grand Isle, New York. This is just outside of Niagara Falls. There's a Hyundai dealership with uh, two stalls already on Grand Island, and now there's a Chevrolet dealership with four stalls. A very small town just outside of Niagara Falls. And here's Four Charge. They, as I said, um, added to the database 148 stations and if you look at the open date all of them are October 8th and there's actually two columns here so in order to fit this in a reasonable amount of slide space I doubled up so here's one grouping here's the other grouping I'll go to the next page feel free to pause if you want to and again one grouping and a second grouping so I got them to fit on two slides but there's 148 stations uh, so I'm guessing that Ford Charge has uh, been quietly building up a portfolio of stations and they neglected to add them to the alternative fuels uh, data center database and decided to just go back and add those. And I do know from this list, there's several that are missing because I know of Ford Charge stations that I've charged at that are not on this list. So likely we're going to get additional batches in the, in the future. I'll keep an eye on them to see if they uh, start updating the alternative fuels data center database with any regularity. And if so, I'll put them on the tracker because their stations are pretty nice. Shell Recharge is an honorable mention uh, right here in La Marquite, Texas. Five stalls. This is a gas station. Uh, it's a pretty nice station. And uh, two four stall stations, one in Iowa and one in Rhode Island. Another honorable mention is BP Pulse. Four stalls in McHenry, Illinois. This is a pretty remote Illinois and Marysville, California. The third honorable mention is Revel in New York. Uh, they've added to the database all these ones that say 10-8. They previously opened the Dime and the Via stations in New York and Brooklyn respectively. And the Pier 36 was opened with much fanfare uh, using Kempower chargers. 
These other ones were just recently added into the database as well, though. Uh, so a total of 50 stalls in the Brooklyn Super Hub. And um, one seven stall station in Queens. And as I said, the Pier 36 um, using Chem Power. Anyway, thanks for watching.